How to create a press paper mockup in Photoshop. Hello and welcome. It's good to see you again in this video tutorial. Today I'll show you how you can make a fantastic press paper mockup for your logos, images and any kind of text using Adobe Photoshop. The technique we are going to use is very simple. All you need is to download the materials provided in the description below and then start with me. The final project will be available in the end of this video. So relax and enjoy the video till the end. Open the background image in Photoshop and drag and drop the paper texture into the document. To rotate the image, click here and type minus 30. Transform your image to the top right corner and click OK to place the image. Open your file explorer and drag your logo into your working document. Again, go to the rotation field and write minus 30 to rotate it 30 degrees counterclockwise. Scale down the logo and place it near the edges of the paper maintaining an equal margin and accept the changes. Go to the layers panel and rename the logo to change the logo. Hide the image and press Ctrl J twice to duplicate it into two clones. Rename the first clone to Shadow Effect and the second one to Pressed Effect. Now select both clones and click on the folder icon to put them in a group. Drag the folder down and hide the shadow effect and decrease its fill to 0%. Double click on this layer and active inner shadow style. Now set the blend mode to hard light with a white color. Set the opacity to 20%. Angle to minus 133 with a global light checked. Set the distance to 10 and the size to 20 pixels. Now apply the drop shadow effect. You can see the live result here as well. Make sure the blend mode is set to linear burn with a black color. Set the opacity to 20%, angle to minus 133, distance to 15, and the size to 40 pixels. Now click on preview to see the before and after of this effect and hit OK to apply the changes. Collapse the shadow effect and unhide the pressed effect layer. Double click and activate the bevel and emboss style. Move the window here to clearly see what's happening. Set the style to outer bevel, technique to smooth, depth to 100 pixels and direction should be towards up. Set the size to 7 pixels and soften value to 8 pixels. Now make sure the angle is set to minus 117. Global light should be time checked and set the altitude to 30 degrees. Change the shadow mode to vivid light with a white color and opacity to 20%. Set the shadow mode to pen light with a black color and opacity to 35%. Toggle the preview button and go to inner shadow style when satisfied. Set the blend mode to linear light with an opacity of 57%. Make sure the global light is unchecked. Opacity should be 60 degrees. Distance should be 5 pixels. Chalk should be 0% and the size should be 12 pixels. Toggle the preview button again to see what's happening. Now it's time to apply the last effect which is drop shadow. Set the blend mode to color dodge with a white color and opacity to 15%. Uncheck the global light. Set the angle to 55 degrees and distance to 15%. Leave the spread value to 0% and the size to 7 pixels. Toggle the preview button to see the magic for the last time and hit OK to apply all these changes. Last but not least, drag and drop the paper texture into your working document and rotate the texture to minus 30%. Scale it up, place it somewhere to cover the whole logo and hit OK to place the texture. Now click between the paper texture and the pressed effect while holding the ALT key to mask the texture inside the logo. Set the blend mode to hard light and decrease the opacity to around 90%. Now it's time to collapse all the layers and give the group a clear name. The mockup is all set. Now simply follow these steps to change the logo at any time. Double click on the thumbnail to open the smart object. Select the existing logo by hitting Ctrl A. Hit backspace or delete key to erase it and place your favorite logo by dragging it into the document. 
Apply the changes by hitting Ctrl S and go to the main document to see the magic. Isn't this mockup astonishing? You can apply this effect to any logo, illustration or text. Furthermore, feel free to post your honest feedback in the comment section below and stay tuned for future videos. Till the next one, take care and see you again.